I'm bringing one. John, do you want to join? You don't have to. Oh, would you rather I not? No. I came all this way. <laughs> I got a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. Can you can you hear me? Or um, so warm welcome to Elena, Elena, uh, Michal and John. And um, I would like to say that I really loved the film. I watched it twice, so maybe I will see it third time. Uh, but uh, while you were enjoying this film, and uh, we had a little conversation um, in, a, uh, in a bar, and uh, we were thinking what is the um, similarity between golf, tennis, and acting. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, Michal, gave us a uh, dancer. So, can you tell us something about that? <laughs> Do you remember, uh, John, when once we, we talked, uh, when we met in LA, we talked about like similarities between golf and tennis. And once my tennis coach, that I play tennis, and John plays golf a lot. Uh, then I play acting a lot. Uh, he he told me this this metaphor of the best like um, the best performance in tennis and it's the same in, in uh, golf that you hold your racket uh, like it's a pigeon not too strong and not too light so it's like this metaphor is I think it's also the same for acting like you do, you cannot like try too much and you cannot like to be too loose in this. And, uh, and also, <laughs> so basically this is... This, this is, is what we talked about for an hour and a half. <laughs> this is the beginning of our Q&A. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but there is more to it, of course, because uh, Lena told us a little story. I'll about go there. John, and you I'm go sorry, there. but I have to say it. You'll, hear, you'll hate me, maybe. But John plays golf, and he hit a hole in one. I didn't know what that means. But now I know that it's a really serious golf achievement. Mm -hmm. And he was alone when that happened. And that brought this incredible thought process, the opening of a thought process in my mind. First, that being told about him doing it made me some kind of almost an audience viewer or at least a dreamer of that situation, especially that I didn't even know what that means. But then I went on and understood what that means. And then I thought about you doing it on your own without the audience. Which really is what our movie is about. Mm, that's cool. <laughs> so now you know why, why we kind of started the, the... You know, about being completely on your own. And if nobody watches you, do you, do you, do you even matter? Do you exist? Um, does the tree make a sound if it falls and no one hears it? Mm. And we went quite far in the big discussion of <laughs> drinking wine when you were guys were watching the movie. Um, I, I, yeah. I, I didn't. What's that? I, works. I didn't really get a hole in one. <laughs> I did. I did, and luckily, well, it doesn't really matter. But in my defense, there were two young men on the green behind me. It was a short little hole, and I kind of waited because I thought I saw it go in. And um, and I and and I said, I know I should already be on the next green. I'm sorry for standing here, but I think my ball went in. They said, No way. Anyway, they accompanied me up, and I thought as I walked up to the hole, if my ball's out of there, I'm gonna feel like a real fool. But yeah, so I didn't have witnesses, but I sort of had witnesses. So. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway, John got a hole in one. Like, <laughs> can I get a round of applause for John? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well. Uh, so, basically, watching your film, I was thinking uh, about the whole concept and the tradition of road uh, trip movies. But... Uh, it reminded me, actually, not road trip movie, but more of, um, you know, pilgrimage mm. and more of uh, stories from the past, you know, like Homer and Iliad. And we have in the literature so many of these kinds of stories that a person goes on a discoverer and goes on the road. Um, but with your road movie as well, there's not so much of expected drama 
like uh, external drama this more internal kind of journey so can you tell me more about um, the the moments that actually make it uh, for me interesting is like the, the Sarah uh, making her journey she meets like almost oracles for mm -hmm. me those those, mm -hmm. those 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 people are her oracles and kind of signposts uh, and also the, the, you know the the, um, the music is kind of her signposting mm -hmm. so could you tell me more about uh, whether I'm kind of going the right direction you're right, we, we didn't want to focus uh, on this plot. Focus. focus on the on the like plot and suspense. We wanted to, to focus on her presence and being in, in life in the moment. And it's uh, it's a journey and the title is roving. So she's roving, she doesn't know where to go, so there is no A to B trip. So she, she's like wandering and trying to find herself so uh, the idea was to 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 discover a, and be uh, with with Sarah uh, on her journey and uh, 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 with her uh, when she meets people who uh, sometimes they they maybe uh, give her, her some ideas solutions and they share experience so it was like yeah, the beginning of uh, when you start writing. Sometimes I think with this film, with it not being an action-driven film, you know, she steals a car and there's never a police chasing, and um, she meets a guy in the bar and he doesn't, you know, rape her. So this, this, the subtle subtlety of the story, I think, allowed us for um, listen for just allowing the oracles to come to us. Um, um, sometimes people would say. Um, you know, a aimless wandering, you know, she, she doesn't have, she doesn't hand us a key to understanding of whether we should, who are we and should we be alone or should we not be alone and what it is meant to be. We, we really tried not to um, uh, preach in any way with this film. We, we just kind of opened our ears and souls to the road as we went along, right? And there was so many, that we had a script and the script really, um, changed with us. I mean, we just really had been open to the world around us. And, you know, there was COVID. It was March 2020 when Mihao showed up in, the, mm. in LA. It was his first time in America and the, 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 the borders closed and he couldn't even leave. We were all thinking we're probably going to die like next month. It was really <laughs> scary. The, the states were closing as we were shooting. We were traveling further east, escaping the closing states to even sort of semi-legal to, to, to finish this film. And I think the if we were, if we would be such fools if we were not allowing the, the oracles of, of the truth to come to, to, to really sort of present uh, to us. But at the same time, they had presented within this story um, in a way that I think we had kind of created space for. It wasn't just all random, uh, but at the same allowed space for. What do you think? Yeah, we, we, we were actually, our crew was traveling with Sarah. We, we were in uh, three cars and following me and the DP were with Sarah all the time actually so we were, we actually had this journey mm -hmm. with her and we were open for situations we we met on the road so it's kind of like uh, some of scenes are uh, shot with hidden camera so people didn't know they are actually in the movie like and John didn't know <laughs> <laughs> And the production car was chasing the people to sign the papers after the scene was done. And so we, we uh, yeah, there, are a lot, there are, were a lot of, like, for, for me as a director, there were a lot of, like, treasures and m miracles uh, on, on the road. Like, there's a little dog you see in the first scene. Mm -hmm. He was, like, observing us when we were shooting different scene. And it was 5 a.m. in Los Angeles, and I saw this little puppy watching us so I decided to 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 shoot this simple scene with Sarah and they have like super um, incredible connection so they were like really, you, know, you know they were looking at each other for a moment and yeah we had like moments like this in this journey so yeah. it's, the, it's a reward that you get from allowing them to connect 
Did the, the dog sign the waiver? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, uh -oh. the, guys, the dog film. <laughs> uh, I have a question.